This is another episode of Stand Up Comedy, your host and MC, celebrating 40 plus years on the fringe of show business. Stories, interviews, and comedy sets from the famous and not so famous. Here's your host and MC, Scott Edwards. Hey, I got something uh, very different for you this week. Uh, Normally, I feature a comedy bit or jokes by a professional entertainer. Uh, Well, you're not getting that today. (laughs) What you are getting is um, me. That's right. For over 21 years, I was the MC of my own comedy club. And there was times I did material. I wasn't a comic. I didn't write material. But I was a pretty good MC and host. And I thought just for something a little different and to introduce myself to you guys from back in the day, here is me being introduced by my partner and longtime friend, Bob Stobener, and then me doing the opening Uh, Before the show, I'm I'm not going to share any of the professional entertainment, just me opening the show. I'll try to keep it quick and tight, but you get an idea of what it was like uh, for me back in 1984 to MC a comedy show. Um, There's some funny stuff, but uh, you may agree or disagree, but uh, something different. I hope you'll enjoy. Here we go. Take it away, Bob. Oh, where's he going? That's Scott Edwards, the uh, owner of Laps Unlimited and a notorious homosexual at Territorm, huh? Right there for Scott, huh? I'm just kidding. He's not really one of the owners here. Uh, well, I gotta go now. You've been a great audience, and thank you very much. Thank you. Was that my intro? Did he do anything special like introducing me? <laughs> That's what the uh, employees. Romantic? What would you base? Uh, well, uh, they call me Skippy. They call me Skippy. <laughs> what a mean dude, Skippy. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Laughs on the Minute, Sacramento's only all comedy show. It's Thursday evening. How are you doing tonight? Great. One of you, and you too, of all people. How you feel? Good. How are you feeling? Great. Okay, we've now doubled the amount of people having a good time here tonight. We want to thank you for joining us. We have an exceptional show this evening. Thursday's kind of a party night in Old Sacramento. Do we have anybody partying this evening? Yeah. 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 Uh, we had a, a definite yes over here. How are you today? Fine. Good. What a happy fellow. What are you celebrating tonight? Quailers. Quailers? You're celebrating Thursday. Yeah. This gentleman ought to be celebrating. It's uh, you got two girls there sitting with you, two young ladies there, huh? Hey. Woo! A Mormon, huh? <laughs> yeah, I thought they were pretty much extinct in this part of the country. This is like a first date or something. Look at how love they're holding each other's arms and his hands in her lap, and uh, she's pushing it out and going, "Oh, don't do that." He's, he's not moving a bit. Is he? Well, I'm happy right there. The, you, you guys look like those guys. You see those people, you never know where they're going, but they wear suits and they ride bicycles. <laughs> you ever see them running around the town? You, you know they're with, are they Mormons? No, 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 he's the Mormon. There's only one a night here. Uh, is that a church group or something? It's, what is it? I don't know, they just ride around. They're always dressed up in ties and shirts. Jehovah's Witnesses? Have you witnessed anything lately? You're a Catholic, I'm sorry. He's apologizing, no. That's terrific. Well, you're, you're well-dressed Catholics. That's terrific. I thought it was some rule in this thing. You couldn't go out with other men. Um, so then this is kind of a special group over here. Are we celebrating something over here? Can you hold up that drink? Is that who's, who's drinking the, uh, that one there with the, the... Yeah, hold that up nice and high. It's not often you see the uh, uh, strong men uh, drinking these foo-foo drinks. Uh, mostly the women drinking these things. But I think it's real macho of you to drink it in front of everybody just to, to show your... Uh, you probably voted for the IRA and everything, huh? A lot of people think that's whipped cream on top. And that's, uh, Ooh, he ordered it, he ordered it extra special, did he? That's for whipped cream. Always takes a, only takes Bob about thirty seconds to whip up those. Uh, <laughs> we're just getting here. We're just getting. Yeah, here. Just, Let's talk about the show. <laughs> Our featured act tonight. You look pissed, ma'am. I'm sorry. Are we saying something wrong? Please, I'm surrounded. 
<laughs> what else is going on? The food waitresses, the drink waitresses are going around taking care of the drinks. Be sure to, to order up quickly. These people are kind of waiting and kind of saving up and for that big moment. Do you know, we, if you are a little short on funds, we do sell Thunderbird in the half bottle here. And we do serve it in a brown paper bag in case you're interested. <laughs> You'll remember that, okay. Uh, and of course we have the house wine, the Chateau de Safeway, if you'd like to try that. That's kind of an inexpensive way of going. And of course the food waitresses. Here comes Jill, the head food waitress here at Last Unlimited, going down in the front row. Uh, she, ooh, uh, well, she earned the title head waitress, so we do recommend you check that out. You guys might be interested in this. Yeah. Food order, food order. Bob? Uh, Oh, we just got the food. By the way, those nachos, may I give you a suggestion, a recommendation? No, no, no. <laughs> no, eat them, but quickly. Our nachos now, we're very proud of this fact. We don't just have that, you know, that melted Velveeta crap they put on it at Taco Bell and stuff. Okay, real, that's real cheap way of going. We have 100% cheddar cheese. I mean, it's, I mean, it's straight from the cow to here. I mean, it's just that fast. But we have to tell you something, there's a drawback. That when it comes on the tables, it's really moist and hot and zesty and the cheddar cheese is melted and everything. Well, in about 10 minutes, the cheese will solidify and they do use it to make roadways. Uh, <laughs> so we do recommend that you eat the chips. <laughs> Gosh, that was embarrassing. Well, tell you what, that was from 1984. I was uh, warming up and emceeing my own show. And you might have heard I did the uh, head waitress joke with uh, Jill. And what's so funny is she was about 20 years old at the time and just started working for me. Uh, fast forward about 20 years, she ended up being my bride and co-owner of the company. And now, uh, many, many years later, we just celebrated our 24th wedding anniversary. But in what you just heard, she was the uh, head waitress. <laughs> anyway, a little bit of trivia there for you. All right. Hey, thanks for putting up with this uh, kind of selfish exhibition of me on stage opening the show and i hope uh it gave you some sense of uh what it's like to MC and work at comedy club all right hey we'll see you next week and guarantee we'll have some stand-up comedy or a comedy bit for you <laughs> have a good weekend bye we hope you enjoyed this episode of stand-up comedy your host and MC. for information on the show merchandise and our sponsors or to send comments to Scott, visit our website at www.standupyourhostandmc.com. Look for more episodes soon and enjoy the world of stand-up comedy. Visit a comedy showroom near you.